I'm going to try and convey what the plan for this campaign is. If it makes no sense, please bear with me. It'll make sense eventually, I promise. What we're going to do, we're going to have a cultural background as a Sturgeon. We are going to align ourselves for this campaign with Sturgia. Now, what we're going to do when we start off, we're going to go north directly to Sturgia, recruit only Sturgian troops, become a mercenary for Sturgia, become a vassal for Sturgia, and conquer our enemies. And by our enemies, I mean Sturgian enemies. I'll break off into my own kingdom if we have enough settlements, if we have enough castles. Eventually, we'll get there. Now, obviously, the most important thing is not getting roasted by our enemies. In most of my campaigns, Sturgia gets annihilated. So we're going to make goddamn sure that doesn't happen. The Sturgians are the descendants of the foreign tribes of northern Calradia. As the empire expanded into their cold forests, they found that a ready market for the luxurious furs of woodland animals whom they traditionally hunted and trapped. Sturgian chieftains became princes vying for preeminence with the help of Nord mercenaries who migrated into their realm. They are good hunters and wanderers, traveling far in search of opportunities both for trade and for plunder. We have the great bonus of 20% less speed penalty from snow. The most important thing when it comes to a Viking-esque character, medium brown, the Viking style hair. And then what is the most ridiculous beard we can find? Eh. This is as close as it gets to my actual beard. This beard is far superior in terms of girth. So we'll do this. There he is. Looks like a nice guy. This looks like a good option. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Took a dagger to the eye. You were born into a family of urban artisans. Your family owned their own workshop in a city, making goods from raw materials brought in from the countryside. Your father played an active, if minor, role in the town council. Also served in the militia. Ten skill level, one focus point to smithing and one-handed. An attribute point to intelligence. I'm doing it this way because I do want to get an attribute point to intelligence. And I believe all the other selections will impact throwing one-handed and two-handed more. Next. Early childhood. Um, brawn for sure because it gives us two-handed and throwing. And an attribute point to vigor. You were big. Other children look to have you around in any scrap with children from a neighboring village. You pushed a plow and throw an axe like a goddamn adult. Yes! Growing up, you spent most of your time at the docks and building sites. Why? Because it gives us one attribute point to vigor and it gives us an attribute point to endurance. Now, I do want to figure out how to properly uh, use the smithy in this playthrough, so I guess that's good. Kind of inadvertent, but it works. All towns had their share of projects that were constantly in need of both skilled and unskilled labor. You learned how hoists and scaffolds were constructed, and how planks and stones were hewn and fitted, and other skills. Ten skill level and one focus point to athletics and smithing. One attribute point to vigor. Got it. I'm going to go with join the skirmishers so I can maximize throwing more and get an attribute point in control. Younger recruits, or those of a slighter build, or those too poor to buy shield and armor tend to join the skirmishers, fighting with bow and javi. They try to stay out of the reach of the main enemy forces. Treated people well, so we can get a point in social and a little focus point in stewardship. Yours wasn't the kind of reputation that local legends are made of, but it was the kind that wins you respect among those around you. You were constantly, or sorry, consistently fair and honest in your business dealings and helpful to those in trouble. In doing so, you got a sense of what made people tick. Yeah! Bye for now. Finally, um, like many families in Calradia, your life was upended by war. Your home was ravaged by the passage of army after army. Eventually, you sold your property and set off with your father, mother, brother, and two younger siblings to a new town you heard was safer. But you did not make it, Rip. Along the way, the inn at which you were staying was attacked by raiders. Your parents were slain, and your two youngest siblings seized. But you and your brother survived because... You were able to grab a knife in the confusion of the attack. You stabbed a raider blocking your way. Another attribute point to vigor, one-handed emphasis, and athletics. Perfect. We are ready. What about... Yarly? Gnarly. Gnarly Yarly. That's terrible. Are you shitting me? T 
Tanier. Tanner. Tanier. Tanier Berg. <laughs> Tanier Berg. <laughs> That's so bad. Here we go. Okay. This is the most important thing. Through other trial attempts at realistic, I have learned one very important thing. It is much more difficult, much more difficult than the difficulty below this. So we gotta be smarter. We gotta take things a little bit slower and we gotta be patient. Patience is key. You will auto allocate clan member perks. Everything else is realistic. Start the game. Ah! Enter your family name, Berg. We are now Tinia Berg. Now I've been thinking about this. What is my emblem? What's my flag gonna be? I got it. Black and light blue with the emblem of, where is it? What the hell is this? I don't know what that is. Our emblem is going to be this thing. I don't know what kind of bird this is, but it's feet are fucked up. They look weird. That's what I'm looking for. A weird looking bird. Plus, plus. This bird looks amazing. Wait, wait, wait. Bird? Berg. Close enough. Done. There it is. Take a look at that, man. First things first. We got one skill point in one handed. I'm going to do extra HP. Thank you. We have one in athletics. Throwing weapons. I'm going to put an emphasis on throwing axes. Throwing. 50% increased accuracy. Whoa. That's pretty good. And smithing. Uh, charcoal maker. Character can use a more efficient method of charcoal production that produces three units of charcoal from two units of hard wood. Yes, I heard that's better to do. And we got one focus point. We'll put that in medicine. Done. Rebuild your clan. Increase your dinars by 1,000 for a total of 2,000. Current party size of 20. 50 renown and a companion. You also need to investigate Naretz's folly by talking to 10 nobles. Most importantly, we got to get some food and we got to get some men and also some more storage space. Now, again, we're not going to recruit anybody outside of Sturgia. I may make an exception later on in the campaign when we are low on troops and we need to replenish. I want to build relationships with the nobles. Capacity succeeded. You hate to see it. I want to build relationships with the nobles and the people in Sturgia. So I can eventually recruit uh, better soldiers from all the settlements instead of just recruits the entire game. That will be helpful. And we got to avoid these looters because they're going to be very deadly to us since we are all alone. And we have nothing of value. Speaking of it, we have 984. I'm actually going to grab a mule, which will give us much more carrying capacity. Uh, we do need a shield. I feel like this is a bad investment, but I'm going to get one because I am stupid. We got fish harpoons. Nice. That's actually fantastic. I thought I was going to have to buy some. Okay. Uh, we'll grab a couple more pieces of grain, a couple things of fish, and we are going north. What is the closest settlement up north? That would be Ismilkorg. Looters, no looting. Um... I mentioned this at the very beginning. We are going to be on horseback to start because it makes fighting the looters... I'm trying to avoid this guy. Uh, it makes fighting the looters a lot easier. Ah! Would you fuck off, man? I'm trying to go north. Lucy Goose. Lucy Goose. Oh, get roasted! Just juked him out of his shoes. Um, we need the speed on the map, and it's much easier to fight looters while on horseback early game than in the fray because they can hit me with their stupid ass mallets and rocks and kill me fairly fast. I'm actually gonna go right here. Charnorbas. Fuck. Like trolls by the bridge. Ah! Fuck me. They're all over the place. All right, recruit troops. There is a quest here. Get three Sturgeon recruits. Uh, these are very easy quests. Easy 300, 400 gold. I legit just take villagers to a location, talk to them, choose the second option, and we're good to go. So we'll do this. That way we can get some money. 
Hello, I am Tania. I have a bit of a dispute with Scorin. Recently purchased the right to graze cattle in the nearby pastures from a landowner there, but now some of the villagers are making problems. I got it. They claim that I do not have the right to graze there, that village land can't be bought and sold like that, but look, I spent my silver, I won't get it back, meanwhile, I can't afford to wait. I need someone to ride along with my herders and my cattle can graze one way or the other, even if it means violence. I can't let my herd just starve. I got it. 350. Easy peasy. It's right there. Perfect. We have to walk for 10 seconds, and we're there. Simple. Here they are. Take your grievances up to your lord, or to whoever sold the land. The law says a buyer has rights, and you need to clear out. We will protect our lands. Oh shit, you're gonna fight? Uh, what? That's never happened before. Okay. What? We're off to a fantastic start, ladies and gentlemen. I surrender. Oh, they let you go. Thank you. I lost all my recruits. What the hell was that? Inventory. Look, they didn't take anything. <laughs> that has never happened before. I'll be completely honest. Wait. Did I choose the wrong thing? I don't know. Either way, um, that was... That was terrible. Great start, gentlemen. Great start. I'm gonna get some more food. Hey, sorry for the hassle, gentlemen. Uh, here's some fish and grain. Train troops? No, thank you. That quest sucks. Oh! It's because I don't have enough men to intimidate. Well, that would explain it. Thank you. Next time I won't do that. Uh... Fuck! Shh! Don't agitate them. Ooh! Ooh! Got it. Got two more, which is five. I do not want to go near them. So they'll probably beat us in combat, because we're terrible. Heading over to Firth. Ooh! Okay. That was close. Got two more. And we could fight. Seven on seven. Probably going to lose two or three men. I don't know if I want to do that. So we're gonna wait. We're gonna head up into the proper Sturgeon. Oh, hold on. Got Godin here. Hello, Mr. Godin. I have to speak to you about Naretz's folly. What is Naretz's folly? Well, that's what some people call the Great Battle of Pendraic in the year 1077. Emperor Naretzes led an army accompanied by Kazates and Asarai to fight a coalition of Sturgeons, Batanians, and Vlandians. It was a disaster. He died in it, but the victors didn't fare much better. I see. Can you tell me anything about this? Uh, yes, it was madness, the greatest blow struck against the Empire in a lifetime, and we squandered it, squabbling among ourselves about a flag. They say Olik the Old had pried the dragon banner out of the Emperor's dead hands, but then Prince Raigenvad, who's a bitch apparently, uh, who had not so much as drawn his sword in the battle, claimed it as a trophy. Olik, who was covered in his enemy's blood, laughed at Raigenvad and told him to go find his own toy to play with. Raigenvad struck him, so Olik broke the banner staff over his knee and threw it into his prince's faith. Or perhaps it was just Ragnvad. He was stewing in his anger when it comes... So when up comes the Batanian King Galadog. The Batanians had taken their time stripping the bodies of the Imperial Vanguard and the Sturgeons were angry at them. So Ragnvad called him a coward. Galadog sneers at him and walks off. Insults his most powerful vassal and then insults his most valued ally. A fine day's work, wouldn't you say? But he has grown wiser since, though no more pleasant to spend time with. Thank you. We are continuing north to... Divorusta. Divorusta. Sounds like a nice place. How many guys you got in here? Perfect. Perfect. No quests. Probably gonna be something in Safna. Nothing in Safna. Except for one guy. Ball guard. I'll guard my balls. Oh! Sergian Warrior Sun. Thank you very much, man. Damn. Thank you. Family Feud. Uh, these quests are pain in the ass. So no thank you. Not right now. I've yet to find any looters up north here. In the snow. Two Sturgeon recruits. Oh. Hey, uh, our money's really low. Oh. I could go for gold here, gentlemen. We have little to no money. There's no looters around. I wasn't paying attention to my money because I'm stupid. Let's join the tournament. 
See if we can get something to sell. Gentlemen, it is pretty simple. We just cannot get hit once. Here we go. We can do damage, which is nice. Ouch! Hey, did the archer die? There you go. What? Oh, you fucking psycho! Oh, come on, buddy! Oh, he's roasted him up! Oh my god! Uh, that was me. That was me. You're, I'm projecting that is me right there. Getting the job done. You kidding me? Oh. It is a two. Oh, there's the enemy. I see him. Hang in there, buddy. Up in here. That ain't good. Come on. Huh? What say you? What say you? Ow, you cunt! I got hit by the archer. I had it. Are you kidding me? This has been a terrible start. Yes. It all changes here, though. Do we have the speed, gentlemen? We have enough for two more days of wages. Or one more day, I should say. Will we catch him in due time? Apparently not, because we're terrible. We got him. Ooh. It's very nice outside. All right, gentlemen. We're going to get into a shield wall. Shields up! We got two guys with shields. Shields look pretty nice. The bird's kind of off-center, though, which is a bit distracting. Showtime, boys. Just get in there. Charge. I'm going to get into a good position. Just yeet jabbies at him. Yeet. 98. Let's go. Rock Lloyd. Oh, I got somebody. Get him, boys. Feast on his ass. Oh, baby. Woo. 0.7 renown. One step closer to 50. Okay, we got a lot of stuff we can sell, which is fantastic. For some reason, I thought it'd be a good idea to be a bowman. Not in this playthrough, but in another playthrough. Dude, the way to do it is fucking javies, harpoons, and throwing axes. Throwables, man. I'm trying to stay up north here just because it's closer to my homeland. Overpriced raw materials, no thank you. We are going to sell all of this because I need money. And I need it bad. Okay. And we got a little bit of time here to find some more looters. Looters, bandits, anything. Anyone and anything, please. The north is devoid of looters. There's one. Or some. Six. Have at you! Man, I am slow as ass in this fucking... In the forest here. They are 3.4. We are 3.5. We will catch you eventually. You shitter. One of these days. Oh, he's going close to Chornobas. There's 10. This is good. <sighs> that would have been not good. Fuck. These guys are elusive, man. Ooh, there's a lot of looters around here. Come on. I can fight 14. That's fine. Okay. This is an important battle, gentlemen. It is even. Bad decision, friend. Suck my asshole. 14 v 14. I just realized some people probably leveled up, so Make a shield wall. <laughs> I wasted that. There they are, gentlemen. It's gonna be very important. It's gonna be very, very important that I hit my jabby throws. Have at you! Look at these guys just going through the water here. Great fucking throw, asshole! Oh, this is a bad start. Bad start for your boy. Even up the numbers. Even them up. Oh, right in the fucking face! Charge, boys! Yes! It's a good start. Oh, right in the ankles! Yes! I think we're doing quite well. Oh, no, I'm out. I'm out. Shit! Dude, that was fucking vicious. I'm hopping off. Oh, this woman's running. Get him! Dude! That's where it's at, man. By the way, this horse is slow as ass. Honestly, I think we only lost one guy. Time to chop off his head. Have at you. Oh, man, I missed. There we go. Eight damage. There we go. 57. We'll do one across the body here. Let's call it athleticism, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! There we go. 1.8, 1.4.
One guy died. That's what I'm talking about. We got two people who leveled up. Now let's take a look at the tree here. Um, obviously, I want most of my army to consist of shock troop and veteran warriors. Okay, so these guys have javies. Sturgeon warriors do not have javelins or harpoons in this case. Sturgeon woodsmen apparently do. Brigands do. And then, oh my goodness. I might go down the woodsman route, honestly. I feel like early on, if you have any kind of ranged units with javies, harpoons, archers even, against looters and unarmored people, they, they dominate. So I'm going to go with woodsmen for both these guys. They get a shield, which is good. Not as large of a shield as a warrior son, but it's decent. Got some prisoners. Got a lot of decent loot here. Pilgrim's hood. Oh, but I like the beard. No helmet. No hood for me. Take all that. Okay. I'm going to head up to Ismilkorg. Ismilkorg. Ooh, god bandits. Yes. Three more recruits. I'm going to wait here for the... Ooh. It'll get these guys isolated. Perfect. That uh, will be 19. 6 and 7. That's not bad. Ooh, 17. I'm gonna go for the 17. Yes, he's pretty slow. This will be, this will be a close one, probably. Ah, oh, fuck. Get away. Get away. Oh, God. Ooh. How am I that slow? Fine. Because we have prisoners. Son of a bitch. All right. Hey, hey, listen. The odds are not in our favor, but we're going to win this. We're going to win, gentlemen. Do you know why we're going to win? Shields forward! Because we got a goddamn shield wall. Look at that shield wall. It's pathetic. I got to do a lot. Ooh, ooh. They're on the bridge here. Follow me! Follow me, follow me. This is perfect. Because I can't really miss too many of these, can I? I'm just going to shut my mouth. Back up. Back up. There we go. Javis is doing well. Charge, boys. I'm doing some damage. Trying to get headshots. It's not really working. We're a beast rain, these guys. Yes. Fuck you. What? There we go. Oh, you cunts. You guys are a bunch of cunts. Fuck. Oh, what? Damn, they abandoned it pretty fucking quick. Bunch of goddamn pansies. Oh, that was terrible. Stabbing might be the way to go. Dude. Oh my god, get bodied up! Eviscerated! We only lost one guy. Dude! Hey man, I'm telling you, this is going pretty good. This is going really good. I know it's more armor, but... Oh, this is much better than what I got. Commoner's Sleeveless Tunic. Sure. Nice. Take all the gear. And people, people probably leveled up here. Yes, we got three more. You're all going to be woodsmen. For now. Okay. I'm going to try and head over to... Or head up to Omor. Tanir gained a level. Love to see it. Three focus points. Ooh, I was not paying attention. Now, was I? I'm going to put one in medicine. We're going to put one in scouting. And we're going to put one in throwing. Perfect. And we're going to add a attribute point to control. Yes. Why? It seemed like the right thing to do. Need some more men here. Could fight those guys. They're 15 strong, but we're looking pretty good, baby. I get some food, get some grain. So all this stuff. I can get a dress? <gasps> That'd be perfect. Done. There we go. No quests here. All right. Let's try. So we want to get the quest where we need to find a individual's daughter. Because that typically yields about a thousand dinars. Ooh, got some looters here. Godin's going after him though. Nothing there. Recruit two more. I gotta make sure I do quests for Sturgeon individuals so I can recruit better troops later on. Does anybody have a missing daughter? I'll start talking to places around here. Takur? 
Nothing. Bunch of dicks. Family Feud, no. Ooh, a woodsman for 50. I'll take that. Sure. You're a nice guy. I think he gave me the good guy last time. I don't know. Sabir, go to the Tavern District. Whoa, Kara Willowbark. You're gonna be my companion, missus. Not because she's a female. Oh, see, what? Huh? Ah? She is charging 1168. I cannot afford it. Give me some time. Miss Kara Willowbark. I'll tell you what, man. Things are not going super hot. Ooh, Svedorn. Again, nobody with quests. Gentlemen, I need quests. I'll talk to this guy in the meantime, I guess. Hello, Svedorn. I am Tania. Can you tell me about this battle? I wasn't there. I know Ragnvad has some thoughts about it. Wait. You have an actual quest to give me? He's got a problem. I'm hosting a tournament at Varnova Pool, and I'm expecting contenders to partake from all over the realm. I have my reasons to believe one of the attending warriors is actually a spy, sent to gather information about its defenses. Huh, how can I track him down? Of course, I've employed spies myself, but if a tournament participant is asking questions about the state of the garrison and the walls, things which would concern no honest traveler, but well, between that and the private information I've received, I think we'd have our man. So I must be hiding inside of Varnova, Paul. Once you are there, start questioning the townsfolk. Okay. I will find the one you're looking for. We understand the spy is going to Varnova, Paul. If they're trying to gather information, they'll be wandering around the market, trying to gather information in the guise of making small talk. Just go around talking to the townsfolk. You should be able to figure out who it is. Yes, sir. Where'd they go? There they are. Ooh, you're going to run yourself into a corner there, buddy. Stop. Stop. I'm asking nicely. Stop. We got to go this way anyway, I believe. Well, it's to the south. We're so close. We've got this. Just boosh a little bit more. Just boosh. Come on. He's got to fuck up sometime. Apparently, we're super fucking slow. We're the same speed. Up. Uh, Tippy back. Yes. Yes! Surrender or die, shitter. We're gonna attack. Alright, just charge, Ben. Shit. There we go. I had to get the commanding going. Oh, man, that was embarrassing. Yeah, how, about, how about that, huh? Want some of this? How's that fucking feel? Right in the throat. Uh, we'll get two more woodsmen. Two more. And then I think the rest will start putting as warriors. Some garbage. Gotta love me some garbage. Now we're gonna head back to Varnova Paul. I heard from a nephew that he took a bunch of velvet over to Sibir and made a profit of 34. I'm on an assignment. Have any strangers been around here asking odd questions about the garrison? So are people gossip. Everyone around here knows you've been asking those questions. Your quarry is going to slip away if you don't move quickly. What? The hell are you talking about? Hey, do you know something about this? Right, the spy? Yes, sir. Word has gotten around about your investigation. I expect the spy knows too and is making plans to leave. There is one handsome warrior, maybe younger than the others. Didn't have all the scars and whatnot that some of those hard cases pick up with their battles. An unscarred face is unusual, or sorry. An unscarred face is usual for farmers and merchants, but less so for warriors. This might be useful. You are sure the spy has no markings? Very interesting. Okay. You look clean. Is it you? The cargo master can't be trusted. Excuse me, bearded man, number 800. Do you know of the spy? Ah. Ah. Hint number two. Not to me, sir, no. I did overhear someone talking to another merchant about such things. I remember him because he had this nasty looking sword by his side. Many contenders have swords on their backs. Still, this information might prove useful. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, my lady. Heaven give us strength. Nothing. Ooh. This guy over here looks mighty suspect. Armed traitor. Oh, what's this? Me and one of my mates are looking for a master. Might call us mercenaries. I don't really think I can afford that. You sons of bitches. Give me a goddamn hint. 
Yes! At the tavern last night, cornered a drunk and kept pressing him for information about the gatehouse. He had a beard. That one did, so he has a beard. Many men have beards, so that's something. Has a sword. Has a beard. No scars. Oh, these, these hints are terrible. These hints are terrible. You now have enough evidence to identify the spy. Contenders are most likely to be hanging out in the alleys with local thugs. Find and speak to him. Very interesting. Okay. Okay. Where are you, spy? Oh. Oh, boy. Oh, shit. Look at this stuff, man. It's this guy. It's this guy. He's got the sword. It's this guy! Hello there, friend. Are you here for the tournament? Uh, no, my friend. I am on a hunt. I'm hunting a spy. And now I have found him. You have nothing on me! If you try to take me anywhere, I'll kill you. And it will be in self-defense. Now, if it's a duel, I challenge you. No tournament... No true tournament fighter would refuse. I shall wipe out this insult with your blood. Ah, shit. Do we got proper tournament attire on? Yes, we do. There he is. The battle has begun. What the fuck? He's got a lot of health. He's got two jabbies in his goddamn... Um... Why didn't he have jabbies? That felt a bit unfair. Hey, hey man, I took care of business. 500 dinars? That's all I've gotten? Are you shitting me? What? Please accept these 500 dinars with our gratitude. Are you kidding me? Huh? That's bold cheeks. We did get a skill, though, or a skill point in Charm, I believe. That's cool. That was a lot of time for that. Fine. It is what it is. Um, checking out the Berg clan. We still have no companions. We're still clan tier zero. We need 32 more renown in order to uh, become a clan tier one. So we just need money. This is taking longer than I expected. Hey, can you catch this guy? I know we got the same exact speed, but just, uh, you know, turn on the boost. He's going to turn around weird here. Oh, my God. I'm going this way anyway, so it's not all bad. I'm going to send in my troops here. This is probably a rough idea. Seven wounded. Okay, no one, no one died. Probably got some good... Oh, we got a ton of experience. Yes. Five Sturgeon Warriors, and... Ooh, here we go. So I want to go down the... Hmm. I'm going to go down the Sturgeon Hunter line. Just because I don't want Cav right away. Because I can't really afford too many horses right now. So we'll make him a Hunter. There you go. Alright. Not bad. Let's head down to Vladiv. See if we can get some quests going here. Do, 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 do. Whoa, hello. I'm way too slow. I'm way too slow. Shh, I'm not too slow. I'm actually gaining on this guy. That's right. Huh? Slow ass. We got him. We got him. We got him trapped, boys. We only have two food left. We'll be fine. We'll get some food from this, I hope. Plus, he's leading us to where I want to go. So, thank you very much. Then he's back to uh, Vladiv. All right, here we go. Let's fight. Okay, gentlemen. Shield wall. Resist first things first. So, we got ourselves a warrior. Warrior's son. Okay. Got all the jabbies in the back. You love to see it. This is a test. I'm very curious how well the Jabbies are going to do. Let's take a look. Rocks are being thrown. Come on, Jabby men. Release. Release the Jabbies. Gentlemen. Okay, never mind. That went really well, guys. Sarcasm. Joke. Ooh, yeah, right in the hips. Go for the headshot. Build the headshot. Yeah. Oh. 
Gentlemen, what was that? Huh? What was that? Oh. They cannot throw if they're blocked by infantry. Shit. Let me just throw it over the shoulder. Come on, guys. Have some have some awareness. Be intelligente. Give me another hunter. Okay, I'll remember that. I'm not picking up the prisoners because of the speed impact. Grab two more Sturgeon recruits and some food because we need food. Go head over to Tyal. Were there any quests there? I wasn't really paying attention. Uh, extortion by deserters. No, thank you. <laughs> that's a uh, that's a very challenging one to do. So I'm going to say no. Family feud. You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for this. I'm going to go for the family feud. I typically always lose these. Let's give it a shot. Hey, buddy. I'm supposed to talk to you, um, protect you, and we got to kill some guy. I've talked to your relative, Pazhel of Visibrot. I know all about the situation. Will you protect me? Yes, I will. You can't live like a goddamn coward anymore, mm -hmm. Alec. Uh, go to Tatik of Buckets with you in Buckets. Okay. I'll see you in Buckets, Gaima. It's up here. First thing I gotta do, I gotta make sure I hop off my, uh, my horse here. Because every single time I forget to do that, I hop off the horse and I'm already dead in this close quarters fight. Deliver herd. Ooh, shit. That's an easy one for some money. Too bad we have to kill you. You evil bastard. He's under my protection. You're breaking the law. Um, he says it was an accident and his family's ready to pay the blood money for his folly. Law says you have to accept it. Otherwise, you will be punished. Great success. Come on. Come on, don't fail me now. 59%. The same custom will give the same rights to your enemies. Wait, wait. And then, same custom will give the same rights to your enemies. Too many innocent will suffer because of your selfishness. Yeah! No blood is spilled this day. 500 dinars. Increase my relationship with that guy. I decrease the other guy. But oh well. I can actually do a quest for you. I can uh, deliver a herd. I, I can do that. Let's do it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hello, Mr. Tacket of Buckets. I would like to... Uh, Deliver your herd. If you're going to the direction of Balgard, you can perhaps take our herd there to Yalir Stewbones. So villagers will come along as well to help you drive the animals. I can do that. 400 dinars. Sure. That way, we might have enough to get a companion. Balgard is far west. Here we go. We are journeying west. Ooh. I want to fight these guys. For sure. They're kind of stuck here, too. And they're pretty slow. Perfect. Perfect. Surrender or die. Now, I'm going to try and maneuver my men. Okay, so they're behind again. So I need to go F1. Two. Open! I need to move these guys up. Move to position. Move out! There you go. And then F1. One. Soldier! Put you guys in a shield wall. There they go. Loose. Nice. I'll get back onto these guys. I did not want to do that. I did not want to do that. No, 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 no. Go back, go back, go back. I fucked up. Charge, gentlemen. Protect the woodsman. That kind of worked out well. Okay, that's not working out as well. No, I didn't mean to throw that. No, I'm embarrassing myself. Hey, buddy. How you doing? He did, he did not give a shit. How about you? Oh, this is the best way of running people down here. Hey there, failure. All oh, right in the spine. I can't wait till I get to a point where I can one-shot people doing this. Nice. Nice. Okay, I got the hang of this a little bit. Whoa! We got this. Wowie, wowie, wow. Another Sturgeon recruit. Let's get another Sturgeon warrior. Once we go to Balgard and do this quest, we will have probably roughly 1,400 dinars, maybe a little bit less, considering it's going to take us a handful of days to get there. Um, the person we were looking at was where? Sabir, I think? 
rid of all this stuff. 10 cows. Damn. Got 400 gold from doing that, though. I have completed the quest. Who am I talking to? Oh, Stew Bones. His name sticks out like a sore thumb. Hey, here's some uh, some cattle. It's going to be 400 dinars, please. I am Tinia. Uh, about the task Tacket of Buckets gave me. Here you go. Thank you. What's that person carrying over there? Just standing there awkwardly. Uh, there she is! Ooh, she looks sad. Type Wanderer, Type Wanderer. Uh, Kara Willowbark. She can be a shield maiden. Here we go. I can use someone like you in my company. Oh, she's gone down in price. That sounds weird. Here you go. Thank you. We got a companion, boys. Now we just need 2,000, or in our case, 1,300 more dinars. Let's take a look at her skill. Level 10. Uh, let's see here. Not very charming. Hate to see it. One-handed, two-handed, bow, riding. Okay. Okay. Uh, we should probably get her a shield. For sure. I am a great... I'm a nice guy. We'll get her... We'll get her a nice shield, and we'll give her better armor once we find it. I'd like to give her some javies, maybe, but it's a lot of money. The shield is good enough for now. There you go. Our emblem looks so fucking sick. Let's go after these looters. 4.9. We were also 4.9. Damn it. They're in a corner, though. They're trapped, baby. They're not trapped because we're terrible. Oh, oh. Excuse me. Why must you be so fucking fast? You're taking me up to uh, Merobrot. Slow your ass down, punk bitch. Oh, a complete dead end here. Oh, man. I'm going to fight these guys on the mountaintops. I'm going to try. So I'm going to do F6. Follow you, soldier. Which is going to give them AI control. Or it's going to give AI the control over my men. Let's see what they do with it. Charge. This horse is painfully slow. Drive by, gentlemen. Ooh, archers are going in. Love to see it. Oh, headshot, bitch. Okay, throw jabbies are harpoons where it's at, man. Go for the headshot. Oh, you son of a bitch. Yeah, right in the kidneys. Dude, we fucking eviscerated him. That guy's got an arrow in him. Anybody got jabbies in them? Let's see if these guys did their job. I see none. Nice. Let's uh, stop by Metabrot, see if there's a quest. We just gotta get money at this point. Um, we can't become a mercenary yet either. We gotta be clan level one. I can get one guy. We're maxed out now, which is great. No quests. Uh, let's start heading a little bit south here. I feel like looters are more plentiful to the south. Any quests in here? Uh, Stew Bones has the stolen goods. Rancid Achita. That is a terrible name, lady. I'm sorry. Hi, it's me, Rancid. Jesus. Who would name their daughter Rancid? It's so mean. Elmore. Oh, hold on. Uh, Sturgeon recruit. We're gonna make him a warrior. We'll make the warrior our very first Sturgeon soldier. What's he look like? I'm kind of curious. Oh, look at that fucking shield, baby. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice. Who's in here? Oh, there's a shield maiden. Oh, man. Elyaksha? Elyaksha, the shield maiden. How much do you want to join my forces? 1165? Okay. All right. I think we're going to get the Shield Maiden next. I should have just went south and waited. I could have got the Shield Maiden. But I like... What's her name? Um, Kara. Kara Willowbark. She's a great person. She's a very nice lady. Tanir has another focus point. We'll put that in... Ooh, headshots with throwing weapons. One extra thrown per pack. Uh, let's put it on Athletics. 
don't know why athletics, but maybe not the best idea. Damn, man, there there are no quests up here. Anything in Rodobas? Rodobas. Here we go. Family feud. Eh, we need the money. What have we got here? Have you come to your own funeral? This guy sounds like a dick. You evil bastard. You're breaking the law. Here we go. 74. Ooh. He says it was an accident. His family's ready to pay the blood money. Success, gamers. 59%. Oh, shit. I don't think so. Um, hey, I promised to protect the boy at the cost of my life. If you try and harm him, we will leave none alive. Fuck. All right, I'm going to try and hop off this horse here fast. Here we go. What say you? What say you, thug? Huh? What say you? I'm doing no damage to this goddamn thug. Can I not kill these guys? Apparently I can't. Who are we fighting? What? 12 one Yeah! Wait. Thank you for protecting me. Well, I didn't really do anything. Oh, okay. You can't kill the thugs. Sorry, guys. <laughs> That was, that was fucking horrendous. I don't want to talk about it. Woo! How close are we for this fucking quest here? Um, Renown's only at 25. And we still need 1,300 more, or in this case, 1,200 more dinars. We're not looking so hot. Come on. Surrender or die. I'm going to send in the troops here. How'd we do? Four wounded, not bad. Six wounded. One Renown, okay. We're getting there. Ooh. Um, looks like one guy. Oh, because we recruited her. Apparently we lost somebody. That's 24. Um. Damn, these guys are pretty solid though in terms of archers. These guys all went up. Did three of them. Oh damn! Four of the warriors. Shit, yeah. We'll do that. Um. I'm gonna get rid of ah uh, no. Nah. I'll take one of these guys. Here we go. Costs a lot of money to do that, actually. Okay. I'm just looking for enemies, boys. Please. Oh, um. Oh, perfect. We can talk to two people in the same situation for this quest. Hello, Caldog. I am Tanir. I'm Caldog, the High King of the Botanians, Lord of Malunov. Can you tell me about this battle? I'm a busy man, but there's always time to talk about the Blessed Battle of Pendraic. People who say that they're a busy man right away, but they can still talk about something, piss me off. It's like, well, I'm a busy guy, but I think I can make time. Fuck off. Our dear old beloved King Errol, a wonderful man, but with a heart perhaps just a mite too tender, did not wish for us to go off to war. Then he disappeared, nigh his son-in-law, and ascended to the kingship. The clans cried out for war. They had a hundred years of crimes against them to avenge. I, a father of my people, gave them what they wanted. Now, the Empire uses tricks and traps in war. No Batanian fears to meet an Imperial soldier, man to man, but we thought it'd be a good laugh to use their tricks against them. So we laid an ambush on both sides of a wooded pass, and wouldn't you know. They marched right into it. They turned and twisted as our arrows rained down upon them like fish going frantic in a pond as you draw the net tighter. Then, when they were greatly discomfited, we took up our falxes and swords and reaped the harvest. Oh, there was some unpleasantness later with the Sturgeons about the spoils of war, but what a grand old day it was. Durthurt says it was a victory of the kind that is almost as bad as a defeat. We had given an oath to the Empire to join them if attacked. It seemed clear to me that we should have honored our oath, that the Batanians and Sturgeons were aggressors, but there is always room to argue details. Ultimately, our barons did not wish to fight with the Empire, so they resisted coming to its help. Retzies, when he heard we were hesitating, sent us a message calling us cowards and traitors. And you say that to a Vlandian noble at your peril, and Retzies should have known what he was doing. We joined the Sturgeons. I did not fight in the battle. I stood in the hill telling my commanders where to go and who to attack. And we did rather well. I think you've heard. Still, we took losses, heavy losses, and gained little. And for this, the barons blame me, even though it was their idea to fight. I learned that day that a king should always lead, never follow. It was a bitter lesson. You know what else is bitter, chat? Earwax. We're almost out of food. Shit. Shit. That. Oh, that was close. Sorry about that, guys. Um, never happened. Whew! God damn it. Go to the forest bandits then. What's their speed? 3.4. We're at 3.4 as well. 
We're going to catch him eventually, I think. Could be some decent experience. I don't know. Gotta see if it's worth it or not, chasing down bandits and non-looters. Even if they're very small in number here. Come on, make a mistake, bandit scum. Jesus. We are the same exact... Oh, hey, it's Ragnvad. Okay, well, I guess I'll be over here and talk to this guy. I am Ragnvad, king of the Sturgeons. I am lord of Varcheg and Balgard. Tell me about the battle. Yes, the day my father died, thanks to Batanian treachery. His fucking helmet, by the way. When they pledged to support us in battle, we believed they would stand with us in the shield wall. Like men. But of course, this is not the Batanian way. They sprung some woodland trickery up in the hills, killed off Noretzi's vanguard, and no doubt spent the rest of the battle whooping and boasting and chopping the heads off of the men who were already dead. It was the Sturgeons who met Noretzi's guard face to face. My father ordered me to stay back as he led them into battle, but he was at their head. He forced them back. And then they broke and ran for shelter of their camp. We went and attacked their ramparts and broke them, but my father was hit by an Imperial mace at the moment of his triumph and died. Never forget when a messenger ran to tell me that my father was dead, but I knew I must swallow my grief because now I was king. I rode down to the ruins of the Imperial camp to take their banner as a trophy. My inheritance won by my father and passed down to me. Oh, some of the boyars were insubordinate, but I have since showed them that I am master. Thank you. Actually, can I join your service now? I don't think I can, right? Uh, I'd like to enter your service. Yeah, I can't do it right now. Is he got a problem? You can't help me. Never even heard of your clan. What? What's that about, man? Come on. All right, you know what? We're going to look for uh, tournaments because we need money, which we can get through items, and we need renown. 18 looters. It'd be worth my while. Ooh, make it 26. Make it 26, Gaima! be 20 yeah it'd be 26 yes they didn't reinforce but still good enough we'll get some gold here attack we need renown sergeants take come on sergeants all right we're gonna try and get a little bit better with the old uh harpoon drive-by technique here look at the archers go lose damn if you hit somebody i'll be impressed they're trying i'm gonna go left side Oh, yeah. What if there's um, increased damage if I'm actually moving while throwing it? There might be. Holy shit. Because I'm just a fucking psycho now. Yeah, you can't escape from break vice. Dude, I might just go four fucking things of harpoons. Ooh. I'm getting the hang of this now. Okay, it's not too bad. Do that ten more times. We'll be leveled up finally. Prisoners, 144 gold, and shit to sell. Cool. Um, let's head back this way towards our people. We'll sell some stuff here in the meantime, and then we're going to try and find some tournaments and stuff. 422. Let's grab a... Ooh, Batanian Pony is actually better. Grab a pony and a mule. I'm trying to increase our speed slightly. Grab that. There you go. Can't actually reorganize that. That's unfortunate. Okay. Come on, guys. Oh! Oh, they split off. Damn it. I still can't catch this motherfucker. We almost had 31 in the same spot. Shit. We are slowly, slowly building a very formidable group of soldiers. I wouldn't say an army right now because <laughs> we're nowhere near that strength, but... Or get, dude, fucking chavvies are the future. Oh, you son of a bitch. A little turnaround technique. Dude, this is fucking fun. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Get oh, the All right in the head. I love this. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice job, buddies. Dude, I got confidence in this, man. I got a lot of confidence. See what's going on in Sayonon. Ransom them. There is a tournament. Yes. Highland Broadsword. It could be worth some money. We'll see. Now, I'm pretty bad at these Batanian ones. So we'll skip and we will join. We have a peasant with us. Really? Out of all these guys, we have a peasant. 